Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolves Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 about a band of werewolves with no civilization. So, this is the Loner's Clan, and we actually do not have any females in this clan right now. Because Dallas, unfortunately, had his wife die. And then Byron is his child so we do have one heir for his legacy and then valerian unfortunately does not have a wife and got kicked out of the collective he was the leader but he got one of the abilities that he shouldn't have which is the werewolf menace one and basically that means that he has to join the loners clan and he's just here trying to work on his aspiration as the lone wolf because he has to finish that one before he goes on for anything else. And by the way, this series has death rolls, just like the Ultimate Decades Challenge and the History Challenge. So if you're triggered by death rolls for babies, infants, toddlers, and children, and also pregnancies, then don't watch the series as it may be triggering. Oh, and it's also Byron's birthday! So that means we will have a child! Okay, and Byron is going to be a green fiend, and every child has the social aspiration. And I'm glad to see that they fixed the top-notch toddler reward trait, so that is working now, and this is little Byron! Okay, we're just working on our werewolf sparring. We need to spar five different werewolves so lily is one of them and we also sparred xavier and dallas okay now that we've brawled with all of the collective we have to introduce ourselves to the wild thing pack in order to brawl with them no rory you've got to come back here because you know how to brawl at least there's a lot of werewolves out in the world now that have the transformation mastery because it's really hard to find five unique werewolves otherwise. You've got Rory, Christopher, maybe Lily, and then unfortunately Jacob and the librarian, I forget his name, are not around anymore because they died of old age. All right, and that is number five. Now we need to unleash the beast, and I think that we can do that by scratching furniture, but you can also do that by scaring people. Oh, Valerian doesn't like fishing. Okay, well, I guess he's uncomfortable. Are you not a werewolf? You are a werewolf, but for some reason, you can't eat the fish. All right, I guess I have to cook the fish for the kid. Why can I no longer talk to the kid about the tunnels? That's not good. If I can't tell him how to get through the tunnels, then it's not going to work. He's not going to be able to go down there. Why are you being mean? That was mean. Maybe he can already go down there? But no, he just aged up. I never told him about the tunnels. No, he does not know how to get there. Strange. Usually when they age up to children, I can immediately tell them about the tunnels. Are you not good enough friends or something? Surely you are. No, you're good friends. It's supposed to be here under small talk. And it's just not working. Okay, well, maybe if I have the kid go explore the tunnels he'll be able to at least know about the tunnels and then we can have someone tell him how to get through them. Otherwise, we're going to be living on top for a while because I'm not going to have him cheat and teleport down there. Well, Monday night is the full moon, so we don't have any problems with energy. It completely fills our energy up and we are also immune to the full moon's effects. So we can just walk around and do our aspirations and get everything done. Okay, that was the last Unleash the Beast. Now, the only other thing that we need to do is defeat Greg. Oh, look who it is. He happens to be already out. So let's try to intimidate him. It probably won't work. Hey, Greg. I hear that you're... Oh, he actually cowered. 
Okay, are you gonna fight me? No. He ran away from me. Greg! He ran away from me! I need to fight you! That doesn't count! Alright, let's just provoke him. For some reason, we're playful. Well, we scared Greg, so that makes us playful. Now let's brawl him, and we better win. If we don't win, we have to do a death roll. But just for Valerian and not for the whole family. We lost. Why did we lose? We're Alpha. Well, guess we have to do a death roll for Valerian. We have fitness level five. Sometimes it's just random. I don't know why. He was scared of us. Why it, did he win? Oh, well. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to roll for Valerian and not the other two. And he survives, Greg. Oh, we already have in the disaster. Well, okay, so we got confident, playful, and focused. And we have a volcanic bomb with no fire. Okay, so now we have to roll for everyone. And we get... Oh, bad luck. We got a zero for Valerian. Now, this means that, unfortunately, Valerian's line has ended. So the Levin line is no more. And after we lose him, we have to get rid of all of his achievements. But that also means that we can increase the survival rate of everyone by 1%. It doesn't actually equal 1% because of the way that everything else is adjusted, but it makes everybody else's survival chances go up. And the reason why I do that is so that this series will not take me forever. Eventually the survival rates will become in a range where most people are not going to die. Where did you come from? Long John Buttercups? I did not name someone that. I have no idea where he came from. I'm pretty sure I don't have my game importing people from the tray, and I don't think I have anyone... He's running away. Stop running away. I was trying to say hi to you because I need to make a friend. Anyway, I was saying that I don't have anyone in my tray named that. Is he a new event NPC or something? I don't think I've ever seen that tattoo. I don't mess with tattoos very often, though. Okay, my import from tray settings in MC Command Center is set to 0%. They should not be imported from my library, but I do have a Long John Butter Camp Cups in my library because I actually downloaded all the Maxis Sims because I was kind of tired of getting all of my Sims from my other Let's Plays in my game. I don't really mind that if they're in a different Let's Play, but what I really don't like is someone passing away or being reincarnated because they were re-imported from the tray. That's kind of annoying. Okay, we did make a friend. Okay, we have 13 out of 20 types of fish, but I'm not sure how many types of fish we can get from here. So we don't have any ability to go to like a different zone in fish. So I don't know if we can complete this aspiration or not. We've already got the rainbow fish and I was hoping maybe there was different kinds of fish available at the two different fishing spots in Moodwood Mill because I spent a lot of time fishing at the other one. So hopefully now, since I'm fishing at this one, I can get some different fish. Okay, we'll become friends with our dad. Or best friends with our dad. Now we just need to make level 5 social skill. And then continue on with this aspiration. Okay, now we need to be friends with two adults and three other children. And get our social skill to level 10. Maybe we'll just go back to playing on the monkey bars. Well, since Hannah showed up, we'll try to become friends with her. 
Oh, we're already friends with her? That was quick. Or maybe it's Long John that we're already friends with. Yeah, we're already friends with Long John for some reason. Okay, we joined the children's club, so we need to make friends with three children after we made friends with the adults. And we also need to get three more levels in our social skill. That's pretty easy to do, actually. Oh, and it's Jared! We should definitely be friends with Jared. Well, making friends with this children's club is easy. I'm actually just talking to them, and my social skill is going up super fast. Oh, why are you going to sleep? Okay, we maxed our social skill. Now we just have to make one more person our friend. And then we might take a trip to Forgotten Hollow and do some more fishing there. And that's it. We finished our aspiration. I think we might actually be able to do the slumber party animal if we allow ourselves to throw a slumber party. Not sure that should be allowed because you do have to get a gold on it. And that's really not going to be very easy if we don't have all of the stuff available to us. For example, we don't have chess tables and we don't have TVs or anything like that. I'm not sure that we could do everything that we need to do in order to get gold on a slumber party. We can stop this gathering now. Now we're here in Forgotten Hollow because it kind of matches the vibes of Moonwood Mill. And we need to get some different fish. Because I think unfortunately Dallas has caught all of the fish that he can catch in Moonwood Mill. There's 13 of them. I just need seven different kinds here. And I know there's batfish and there's some other stuff. Hopefully some different stuff that's not the same as Moonwood Mill. Okay, we did get a vampire squid. And that counted as a different type of fish. Oh, we caught a pufferfish? I didn't know that you could catch them here. I wonder if you can become poisoned by pufferfish. Oh, they don't even let you eat it. Yeah, you can eat the other fish if you're a werewolf. But for some reason, you cannot eat the pufferfish. I wonder why. Okay, Byron caught a batfish. If I just hand it to Dallas, will that count? Uh, no. I don't think it does. But I can put it in my pond at home. Okay, I put it in the pond and he caught it, but it didn't count. So I think it already counted for me, which is unfortunate. Oh, we're getting a disaster. I'm not sure which it is, but we got no sound, just the shaking. Oh, we got the bomb. All right, so no fires, right? No fires? Good. Okay, here's what I have done. I've actually made it so that I just have to hit a button and the random numbers are automatically inserted into the spreadsheet. What I was doing before is I was going to randomnumbers.org and copying and pasting a list of randomly generated numbers. But the issue with that is that I see them before I copy and paste them. And I don't know exactly based on the calculation whether or not people survive or not unless it's like a zero or a really high number or a really low number. So I think that this is best if I don't see the list of numbers and I just type a button on my keyboard in order to get the result. So here we go. And everyone survived. And then I just clear the numbers and we can do this again. Okay, we need to get something to eat. And we also need to dust down here. But for some reason, I cannot get the kid to come down here. So I guess I'm just going to have to have Dallas come down here. Okay, we're going to try our luck again in fishing here in Forgotten Hollow. And hopefully we can get an angelfish. It looks like there's one of those in there. And I think there's a wolf eel. I'm not sure if we've got that one yet. Okay, we finished the fishing skill. Now we just need to find four more types of fish. Unfortunately, I'm not getting any angelfish. It's notoriously hard to catch, and I don't know why. 
I've gotten several batfish and vampire fish, but not the angelfish or the wolf eel. Oh, and a lot of pufferfish, too. Okay, I can finally tell him about the tunnels. So that means that Byron will be able to go underground. I'm not sure why it wasn't letting me do that earlier. Nothing has really changed. Oh, we're getting another earthquake. Poor volcanic bomb. Yep, that's right. A volcanic bomb. We are getting so many disasters for this family, but at least their scores are pretty high. Okay, so here we go again. And they survived. And this is what I mean by their scores being pretty high. Dallas has a five and still survived. Okay, I put another fishing sign out here. I know that's not really supposed to be how it works, but I have to have different fish in order to catch 20 different fish. So this one is from Granite Falls. Hopefully I'll get different fish with this. Well, I got a red crawdad. That's definitely different. And a blue crawdad. Okay, well, this might work out very well. I don't know if in the future I'll have to go to the vampire realm or not, but I'm hoping not. I want three places within Moonwood Mill where we can actually finish this fishing aspiration. Well, this is like fishing in real life. Waiting all day and basically doing the same thing over and over again and not much going on. So, yeah, there's that, but this has to be done. Okay, now let's try the jungle adventure fishing sign. Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. It would be okay if I knew that there was enough types of fish in order to get the ones needed, but it kind of annoys me that I'm not even sure and I go fishing all day and don't catch anything new. Apparently, this fishing spot contains plates. Okay, well, so if you go fishing in Jungle Adventure, you might get plates. Okay, finally, we got an armored catfish, which is different than everything else we had. We just need one more. Although I will say that I have not caught a Luna fish, and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to catch a Luna fish somewhere. Who knows where? I think you can just go fishing in the open water. I'm not sure where that sends you fishing if you click on that. Yeah, it sends him over here to this fishing sign. Well, I don't think that I can catch a Luna fish though. Maybe you only catch them at night during a full moon. That might make sense. All right, there we go. We caught something else. Aspiration achieved. And we got a Tambaqui, I think. I'm not sure, probably not pronouncing that correctly, but it's a different fish. So hopefully that'll set us up for success later. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the curator because that's the one that our guest was doing and he did not complete it. All right, we need five crystals, three frogs, and three fossils. And all we're missing are the fossils. I think we're working on maxing the mischief skill with Byron because that's actually something you can do as a child, especially since he has the social skill at level 10. Well, Hanavator, I guess it's no secret who your father is. I mean, her mother is probably Lilith, but her father is definitely Vlad. Look at that nose. Oh, we're getting some kind of disaster. Earthquake, volcanic bomb. Uh, just an earthquake. All right, well, time to do another death roll. Okay, here we go again. And they both survived. Oh no, it's Saturday morning and we have yet another disaster. How many does that make? Well, I would appreciate some more volcanic bombs. Yes. 
Because I actually need to get my fossil collection going. There, we have three more rocks to break open. Hopefully we get some fossils out of that. Okay, and we're rolling yet again. And we get... Everyone survives. That's good. I was actually in the middle of trying to make friends with Cassidy because... She's leader of one of the werewolf packs. Oh, it's Yvonne, not Cassidy. Sorry, I'm making friends with Yvonne because she's actually the leader of the wild things. At least I think so. Um, why are you being mean? That is not good. <laughs> At least you're being mean to your son. Still apologize. Now, since we're part of the loner pack, we can't actually join the wild things. But I think I will allow him to be friends of the wild things. Because that allows him... No, never mind. He can only contribute to pack resources. He can't check pack resources unless you're a member. Okay, well, forget that idea. Okay, we did not get a fossil. Well, I think the only hope right now is to actually try to catch one fishing. I don't know. We could wait for more volcanic bombs. I'm not sure what else we could do. We might try the other werewolf families. And if we find a fossil, I'm going to allow them to actually give it to Dallas as a gift. Because I'm thinking that this one might be hard to find. I'm not sure where I found this other one. It might have been in the tunnels and it might have been fishing. So I do have a Discord server and occasionally I will do pack giveaways and other things of that nature. So feel free to join the Discord server in the link below in the description or the comments. And as always, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.